New York is now Madam recognized. Speaker, let me say that I agree with some of what I heard from the Republicans. They said there's a, not, a lot of nonsense spoken on the floor today. Indeed, there was. Everything they have said about this bill is nonsense. They have said there was no Muslim ban. Everybody knows there was a Muslim ban. The president said he was going to impose a Muslim ban, and then he did. When Nydia Velasquez and I went to Kennedy Airport, when Jan Schakowsky went to the airport in Chicago, when other people went to the airport, what did we find? We found Muslims being kept out of the country. People with perfectly valid visas, perfectly valid green cards, people whose relatives were waiting for them here because they had perfectly valid entry certificates were being kept out of the country. And they couldn't even speak to their lawyers. That's the next bill that we'll be considering on the floor in a few minutes. That's what we found. And that has been in effect for a long time. And it's un-American. It's unconstitutional. It's against the very, the, 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 the ethos of this country. As the speaker said, I think it was the speaker who said it, the motto of the country is e pluribus unum, from many one. This situation, this Muslim ban denies that. This says, e pluribus, I don't know the Latin, from a few, not from all. Madam Speaker, we must pass this bill. More than 400 organizations and industry leaders support this bill. They include Muslim advocates, the ACLU, Airbnb, Asian Americans Advancing Justice, Hebrew, the Hebrew Immigrant Aid Society, yes, the Hebrew Immigrant Aid Society. Why? Because the Hebrew Immigrant Aid Society remembers its futile efforts when Jews were turned away from this country to go back to the Holocaust, when the St. Louis was turned back to go back to the Holocaust, when the State Department deliberately wouldn't even use the quota. The quota was 150,000, and they kept it down to 6,000 because of the anti-Semitism of some officials in the State Department. And, and the Hebrew Immigrant Aid Society, which was formed to aid Jewish immigrants, but has long since broadened its mission to aid immigrants from any country, knows what happened and doesn't want to see it happen again. And that's why they're supporting this bill. The Service Employees International Union, because so many of their members were born abroad. The National Immigration Law Center, Move On, and United We Dream. Members on both sides of the aisle should agree that no president, Republican or Democratic, should be permitted to usurp the powers of the legislative branch enshrined in the Constitution. The separation of powers is fundamental to our democratic republic and must be protected. For all these reasons, that's why passage of, 18, of H.R. 1333 is so vital. I urge my colleagues to, to vote in support of this bill, and I yield back the balance of my time.